Please pause for a moment of quiet reflection. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, Alfred? I'm Roach here, and I'll be your host for this portion of the morning show. Let's get started. Oxfam Club will be having a meeting on Friday, March 3rd at 745 in room 3211. This is an important meeting, so all Oxfam members must attend. Attendance will be recorded. If you have any questions, email ahsoxfam at gmail.com. Good morning, Alfred, and welcome to the weather. Let's get started. Folks, today it's hump day, but a pretty ugly one. Our pollen count is on the rise as their days roll on, and today we're expecting a pretty hefty storm with a slight risk of damaging winds and a spin-up tornado. As for the rest of the week, the sun will be out with temperatures slowly dropping, and you better pick up that sweater. Our overview for the weekend is quite similar throughout what the week was. Sunny skies and moderate temperatures. This was Matthew George with The Morning Show. Come one, come all, and glow in the dark to help support Flood here at AHS. Flood has a super fun and low-key 5K race walk on Saturday, March 4th. This isn't just any old 5K. The race begins at 7.30 p.m. at the Kids Are Kids on Johns Creek Parkway, and participants will be given glow-in-the-dark goodies. You can, of course, bring your own. To make running in the dark an adventure. Got a dog? Bring him along and add him to the fun. Prizes and music are included, and the cost is $30 to participate. We would love to flood this event with Raiders, so please visit www.fivestaff.com slash glowwiththeflow.html to register. We look forward to seeing your glowing faces March 4th. Politics Club is a nonpartisan student-led club that meets every other Wednesday morning in Mr. Womack's room to discuss politics. In such a polarizing time, it is important to take a step back from party politics and realize that everyone has the common goal of making the world a better place. At our meetings, we've covered the 2016 election pretty heavily, but we also talk about topics like gun control, police brutality, and immigration. The purpose of our meetings isn't as much to argue about who is right, but it's more about learning where the other side is coming from, political affiliation aside, and uh, taking a deeper look at a given issue. What I really enjoy about the meetings is how everyone is able to embrace each other's differing opinions. Everyone always seems to get along really well and no one seems reluctant to voice their opinion. Another thing we do at Politics Club, which is probably my favorite part, is volunteering and giving back to the community. For example, on election day, we sent about a dozen members to work at the polls. Although the hours were really long, we got to learn a lot about the political process and it was really a valuable experience. Through Politics Club, we're able to get a better understanding of where everyone is coming from and really leave high school better equipped to be better people. We love to have everyone purchase lunch from the cafeteria. However, please remember that we have a limited bank. Please try to purchase lunch with a lunch account or with bills smaller than $20. Change is always welcome, just not rolled coins. We can open a lunch account for you and you'll be able to put funds on that account. The funds will carry over to next year if there is a remaining balance. Thank you so much for your assistance. Every day, our world is getting bigger but theirs is getting smaller. 
One and a half acres of forest is cut down every second to accommodate for growing cities. In turn, the animals that live in these forests are left without a home. The solution to this problem can be as simple as one person planting a seed to make the world a better place. You can make a difference. What's up, Alfreda? My name's Ben, and this is Sports Play of the Week. This week, we see number 10 ranked Duke versus Syracuse, where John Gillen gets the ball in a tied game with five seconds left, dribbles up the court, and banks in the game-winning three at the buzzer. Got it! Syracuse win! Here we see it again. I can't believe it! My name's Ben, and this has been Sports Play of the Week. Come out to Taco Fiesta today, March 1st, and support AHS Women's Soccer. Taco Fiesta is located at 3055 North Point Parkway across from AHS. See everyone there. Alfreda High School presents Sister Act Musical. Our theater program is working hard hours to put on a fantastic show and tell the story of Dolores Van Cartier. And how she adjusts from a life of sparkle to life in a covet after witnessing her boyfriend Curtis commit a murder. As she joins the coven, she finds her way into the choir and a newfound sisterhood. Show dates are March 16th and 17th at 7 p.m., March 18th at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m., and March 19th at 3 p.m. Tickets are $12 in advance at seatyourself.biz slash Alpharetta Productions and $15 at the door. We can't wait to see you in the auditorium seats. I just won the 2017 Alfreda High School Salutatorian. I've just earned the title to valedictorian for the class of 2017. To me, receiving the distinction of valedictorian, it means more than just I'm academically gifted. It's a recognition of everything that I've done in my life. It's a recognition of the time that I've invested into my studies, of the amount of effort I've invested into my studies. This award means that I was able to succeed in academics and that I'm recognized for all the hard work I've put in over the course of high school. And it's just really cool to have something come of like all the hard work I've been doing. There may have been times when I wish I'd done something differently, but in the end, it's all come down to this one moment, and I'm proud of everything that I've done to receive this accolade. Last year when we got our class rank for the first time, I realized that I could potentially pull this off, so that really gave me motivation to work really hard and try to end up as either the first or second. I first realized I was one of the top students of AHS during my junior year when uh, class ranks came out for the students. I was originally third at the time, and despite that, I received so much support from my friends, my family, my counselors, and everyone else who I knew. And that gave me the inspiration to become valedictorian or salutatorian, and I'm proud of the effort that I've put in because of my friends and because of my own will. It's really cool because now I can put this on college and scholarship applications that I am the salutatorian, and that can really help in getting certain financial aid also. My name is Arnav Goyal, and I'm the valedictorian for the class of 2017. My name is Katie Lawrence, and I'm the salutatorian of Alfreda High School. What if it's too late to say I'm sorry? What if I were a human? They have four legs just like me. What if I actually made the dance team? What if I... I, I can never make the dance team. Well, what if there was no what if? We wouldn't hesitate to make that call or to take that risk. We'd stop dwelling on the possibility, and we'd start experiencing the reality. I'm Roach, and this has been The Morning Show. See you on Friday. <laughs>